Oh, okay, so what's really important, this is where you start to really feel like you're understanding the additive. We have the number minus 5, as Mr. Tracy said, mm -hmm. and we also have the number positive 3. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it doesn't matter what order we write these in as long as the numbers stay the same. Okay, and that's really, really important. We must still have the number minus 5 and we must still have the number so 3. We could write them the other way around. Yes. So we could have written them as plus 3 minus 5. Okay, now that you can also solve to be minus 2. If I start on positive 3 and go taking towards away. the negative, yep. taking away 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I still get the answer of minus 2. This is a really important concept yep. because it will help you with large numbers yep. if you feel happy to switch things around. Yep. Okay? But what you must remember, and this is what some of my year 7s found confusing, is that that positive is belonging to the 3. That is positive 3. That negative belongs to the 5, that is negative 5. It can't become minus 3 yeah. and positive so, 5. So take that in, and we're going to do an example with some bigger numbers. Yeah. And we're going to do it without the number line. Yeah. Yeah? Good. So let's just come down and hide the number line. Okay, so, so, so from what you were saying, we should now be able to do something like minus 5 plus 17. Yeah. So we didn't have 17. We didn't have we didn't have to move from there to no, do 17 on our line. Okay. I'm looking at this and I've got a small minus 5 and a larger 17. Okay. Now that could be written the other way around as positive 17 minus 5. Mm. Now that is a lot nicer, and yeah. I can do that in yeah. my head. That's yeah. just 17 take away 5. That's not difficult. We know the answer is 12. 12. Do okay. I need to write plus 12? You don't have to don't write have positive to. 12. If you did, it would still be correct. Okay? So that is why that moving around is really, mm. really useful to you. Okay? There's another concept that we're going to think about now. So we want our number line back, actually. Oh, go back to the top. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use my number line. I'm going to just get rid of this guy mm -hmm. so that we've just got our number line here. And. Well, I didn't know you could do two pens at the same time, Robert. Yeah, that's that. Um, Can we get rid of that? <coughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, 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 kind of, kind of. Just not ever. Because as we have <laughs> already said to you, this is one thing. Yeah. This is separate. Yeah. This is saying where to start. Where am I starting? At minus two. This is telling me what I must do. I must move down four. One, two, three, four. And we get our answer of minus six. Let me just do another one really quickly and see mm. if any of you guys can spot a pattern with what happens. So I've got minus, oh I'm going to have to change that because we've not got that in our number line. <laughs> um, minus 8, still not got still that in our number line. Minus 1? <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> pick a number that works, Miss Cheeseman. Why don't minus you? Two, minus 2, 4, minus 3, minus 3. Have any, any, any yeah. of the above. Minus I'm going to go minus, oh! oh. <laughs> Minus. What is going on here, Sarah? We are just causing havoc here. I'm going to go minus four. four. Minus four, minus three. So, we're going to use... Where am I starting? I'm starting. I'm starting on minus four. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going back three, because I'm going more negative. One, two, three. And I get my answer of minus seven. Beautiful. Do I think we need to even just do one more, just to see if they can spot okay. this pattern. Okay. Because what we're one. trying to do is Ooh. give you some tools. I'll tell you what then. Let's, let's go down. Let's see if we can do it without switching it off. Okay, let us talk about. <sighs> oh, for example, minus one, minus seven. seven. Yeah, minus one, minus seven. Okay, so minus one, minus seven. 
Looking at our previous answers, mm. when we had minus 2, minus 4, we got minus 6. When we had minus 4, minus 3, we got minus 7. Mm -hmm. I see a pattern there because I'm taking 2 and I'm taking 4, which means I'm taking a total of 6. Mm. Yeah? yeah? That's how much I'm taking. Let's say Mr. Caton had a very large bag of sweets. And I oh. came along and I said, I'm going to have two of those. Yep. And then I'm going to have four Another of those. Four. You've had six. And in this case, I'm like, you've taken six of my sweets. So I've taken six in total. Absolutely. Minus six. This one, I've got minus taken one. Another, taken another seven. Taken another seven. I've taken eight. Minus eight. Mm. Okay. Let's just check. So we set one and so we had. We were on. Oh, change the colour. Oh, yeah. Let's get yeah. a nice colour. We were there. And then we took away seven. So we're going down one, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and we ended up at minus eight. Minus eight. Minus eight. We got. Two. Okay. So that taking total is how people minus negative numbers yeah. without having to use a number line at all. So we could do uh, okay. So that means we could do minus thirty-five. I was going to do twelve, but okay, and minus thirty-five. Okay. So think about it. No. Really, all I've done here is I've added together how much negative I have. I've taken two, I've taken four, okay. so I've taken six in total. So we've taken 12 and we've taken 35. So in total, so in total we've taken 47. We've taken 47. Because 12 and 35 is 47. All you have so to do 47. is add how much you're taking away. Okay. It's how much you're taking away in total. It's very quick. Um, and that's how you minus. Okay. The totals. So this is adding and subtracting with negative numbers. But it un it's not a trick, guys. There's no tricks here. There's no remembering. It just makes sense. Mm. Think about someone coming along, taking two sweets, taking four sweets. You're like, hey, you've taken six. Yeah? You've totaled the negatives. Let's go and get a new pen. Okay. Let's go and get a new pen. Okay, that's better. I've got a new pen. I've oh, refilled it. Has that moved? Oh, oh, maybe slightly. Um, okay, so we've done that. That's yep. all good. Yep. Um, we're going to move on to something that just has a layer of oh, complication. Okay, so this is kind of this is a thing that that some people will find a little bit more difficult to be ready. So there. Ah, okay. So we're this time we're we've got two signs in between. Sitting together. This is what makes things more complicated. But we're going to try and talk you through it, and we're going to do that by saying. Remember that this is where we start. Yep. So we can put a, a dot by three. So we start here. We start so I'm going to put myself a little dot by three. Okay. And then I'm going to add, which means I'm going in this direction, but I'm not adding four. Yeah. So and if I was doing three plus four, I'd just be going four. one, two, three, four, one, and I'd two, be ending three, four, up here, at seven. Seven. go that direction. But I'm not adding a positive. I'm adding a negative. A negative. Which drags it in the wrong direction. Yeah. So it's going to drag it backwards, one, two, three, four, and we're going to end up on minus one. Absolutely. And then we can apply our method that we've just used. Yep. Okay. So we've got minus four. Yep. And we've got positive three. Yep. Okay. So it's minus four, positive three. Because this is positive three. That is where we started. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we could start at minus four. Yep. And plus. Three. Mm -hmm. You yep. still get minus one. Okay. What you have to understand with these two signs sitting together is that movement that Mr. Casement made. And what has that actually happened is here, this is still here really, this, that yeah. positive is still there. We're adding a positive three. And when you're adding a positive, you go in that direction. You move in the right direction. Okay. So let's, have a, let's, let's see if we can apply some of that information to this one. So this, this one, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to move it, I'm just going to go with it. So this one is saying I'm starting at the same place, I'm starting at 3, so I might just tie up a bit, so I can see we're getting a lot of colours. <laughs> <laughs> Love the colours. I do like the colours. So this one is saying right, we're starting at 3. Yep, still there. Still there, okay. And this time I'm going to subtract, but I'm subtracting a minus 4, so it's Pulls it in the wrong direction. Pulls it in the wrong direction. Because if you were just subtracting four, you know that you would be moving this way. 
but because you're subtracting minus 4, you go in the opposite direction and it gives you a positive okay, so 7. So, started there, we're going to subtract, but we're subtracting a negative that pulls it back pulls in the wrong direction. Okay. okay, so a lot of the time, that's the why. Mm. That's the why it happens. If you're subtracting a negative, you're moving in the opposite direction of subtraction, mm -hmm. so you are mm -hmm. something, okay? And that is that is where a lot of you will see yeah. things like this, where you say, if I'm subtracting a negative, I am adding, okay? Indeed. And that is where you will see that sometimes, and some of you will get into that movement of circling and changing. Something to think about. But we want you to understand why. So it's the why. I mean, something to think about is, of course, we can't do this with this. No, we can't. Can we? Because of that negative yeah. being there. Okay? And that's where you get, if you understand the why, you don't, you have, to have, yeah. you don't have to have the trick. Yeah. Because we, we you, just, if you just move it, you not understand be, yeah, Rather it. not be using the trick. Okay. Let's come to this let's one. Come to so that so one. We, we've changed this one slightly again. So we put a negative in front of our start number. Yeah. yeah. So that's just our start number. So we're just going to start. I'm going to use pink. Yep. Just going to start at minus 3. Mm. That's the only thing that's changing. I'm plussing a negative. So I would be, I'm plussing, plussing in that direction. but because it's negative, I'm actually Taking moving that way. Back. So I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4. And minus I'm ending up on minus seven. seven. Okay? okay. So again, it's if I was plussing, I'm moving that way. But because I'm plussing a negative, I've got to take away. So remember, I think the key, the thing to remember, is this is about adding and subtracting. Yeah. We haven't been multiplying anything at all. There's been no, no dividing. This is just adding and subtracting. And and both of these two two types of examples that we've given you. Ones with just one number in between, uh, uh, one symbol in between, and these ones with two symbols in, in between, the same rules apply. Use You're using a number line. The number line. Whether you use the mental number line or a written number line, it really doesn't matter. You have to use a number line. This is all about going up and down a number line. That is all it is about. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're going to move on to time, name, and dividing. Yes, yeah, you want to find it? Which is, oh, okay. You've got that. What is it doing? I don't know. That's weird, isn't it? That's just to make us. Okay, so. Do you want me to write that? The time? Yeah. Time, time thing, should we put time? Yeah. The important thing, year seven and year six, is that this is not the same as adding and subtracting. And that is where the further confusion comes in. Okay? It's not, not the same. Okay, mm. so this is the way I like to do it. Could you write up the other two for me? We could have um, minus three times minus five. Oh no, you want to do that on the last three, don't we? Yeah, I'd like yeah, to. Yeah, I'll write that last. Okay. Minus I started to write it and then like three times minus five. You want three five. times minus five, yeah. And then minus three times minus five. I love how your minuses are like. I put them up quite high up because they're kind of slightly different. Yeah, I Because I'm not adding or subtracting. Yeah. I'm multiplying. And multiplying is, is kind of more important. Big mass. Yeah. Multiplying comes first. This is where I want people to think first. Mm. You are multiplying. So do the numbers first. Timesing or multiplying. Same thing. Do the numbers first. Do the sum. Do the three. Three times five. Times five. Fifteen. It's going to be that. Newsflash. Is it going to be different? It's going to, isn't it? For every single one. 15. Okay. But. Because the 3 times the 5 mm. is always 15. Is it going to be the same 15? No. Because 15 and minus 15 are actually different numbers. Very different numbers. There's 30 numbers in between them. One is very high. Yeah. And one is low. One is, one is, if you're a fish, you're alive. If it's minus 15, you're dead. <laughs> temperature. <laughs> Tem I was thinking about sea level then, and I thought, oh, you'd be fine at minus 15. Okay, so, 3 times 5, yes. that is quite clearly 15. Yes. It's positive, okay? It's, it's positive 15 because it's just a positive number. And we had a positive 3 yeah. and a positive 5. Yeah, okay. exactly. So we're going to get a positive. It's just yeah. a normal time table. It is. Yeah? Yep. If I've got five lots of minus three. Minus three and minus three and another minus three and another minus three and lots. 
Right, all those minus three. three. That's a lot of minuses. That's a lot of minuses. Minus fifteen. It's only going to be a minus number because yeah. you've got minus three, minus three, minus three, minus three. Lots of minuses. You're obviously going to get minus fifteen. Mm. That one is three lots three of minus, minus five. five. Minus, minus five, five. Minus five. Minus five. Minus five. five. It's going to give me minus fifteen. I've kind of written that a little bit badly, but there you go. This is the one that you have to remember. So two, two, two of them give me a minus fifteen. So we, I would think two of them would probably give me a plus fifteen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This one is saying it's a bit like on our number line when we go back and forth. Yeah. I've got minus three lots of a minus, minus five. Nine. Yeah. It's it's, it's horrible. It's, I tell you what, there isn't often in life that me and Mr. Caseman will say, just remember it. But no, try and remember it. A negative yeah. number times a negative number, and I say that in a way that I'm I'm saying a negative number Minus times three. a negative number Minus five. is gonna give me a positive number. Plus fifteen. And that's it. That is it. And the same thing applies to division. <laughs> so if I had minus fifteen divided by minus three. Well you, you okay. So I'd write my little minuses a little bit up there. Dividing is what we're doing. So do the divide do, do the, the dividing, dividing first. So fifteen divided by three is five. Is five. A negative divided by a negative. So minus divided by a minus. We had a minus times a minus, it gave us a plus. Yep. A, a minus plus. divided by a minus must also be a plus. It's exactly the same. Mm. Okay? What you must remember guys is that times and dividing does not follow your number line rule no. like we were just talking because about. Because we said though the number line is for adding and subtracting. Yeah. That's when you use the number line. That's what it's useful for. And that's it guys. All good. Alright. Cool. See you soon. See you later. Bye. <laughs>